right? And hit enter. So now you should have in your art catalog a can symbol, looks like a soda can, uh, or trash can, called digitize. This whole thing manages almost everything for you. Uh, it's a new piece, has a little few things. We are not alone in space. The shape file is Earth. The cheerleader base is like the whole Milky Way. Oh no, maybe half of it. Uh, in terms of digital data for our GIS system. All right. If I look at this with the content or the preview, I don't see anything in it right now. Why don't I see anything in it? Because I just created it. Okay. Huh? So how would I populate data now into the geo database? Two things we can do. We can create new ones. Same process. Right click on it. New. However, it doesn't have a shapefile in that can. It's called a feature class or FC. Feature class. Because it's now point, polygon, or polyline, feature class. Yeah? So they are both layers. And your map is both layers. But one is feature class, and the other thing is shapefile. At the end, you don't differentiate anymore. Yeah? But technically, this is a little bit different. This is just from if the shapefile was the vinyl disc, the vinyl plate, this is your CD or your iPod. Yeah? I assume you guys have seen EPs and vinyl, yeah? like this. Right. We're old school too. I've met people who've never seen a VHS or a cassette tape, audio cassette tape. So, All right. so I would create a feature class. Can name that test. We're not going to do anything right now. Yeah? I can find your polygon line and point features again. Let's say I do point. And on the next button, I get the same thing like we did before. Geographic coordinate systems. Yeah? I could go next for an empty one. I have technical stuff we don't care about. Yeah? I have technical stuff we don't care about. Next. And then we have a screen we have seen today before. I'm getting a new valid name. Yeah, you can't use numbers in the front. I did test a new, and after that is yeah. what? Next, next. Yeah. It says, can I take something here? And then we have default on the stuff over to keyboard. Test. Okay. All right. Yeah, all this technical stuff with default and resolution, next, next. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, should, all right, I do this again. We are not working with this right now. I just want to point out where it is, what you will see. We are going to use this in the assignment with, again, a step-by-step -step description, what to click, what to add. And I want to make sure that you have seen this with me on your screens. To create, so we created a geodatabase. If I want to create a new feature class, I will right click on this, we'll say new feature class. I call this right now a test. I will select the type and say point. Then I go next. I might have to choose a specific geography type, coordinate system style. That would be, in our case again, WGS 1984. I would go through this, or I click next. Technical features, don't care. Next. Default keywords, don't care. Next. Like we did the color field, we could add here color, call text. This looks different now. But still the length, I could change to 10. And click finish. 
if you look here now, this is on my screen a light blue compared to the light green for cars. Can you go back and do it? Yeah, the previous. Just that part. Yeah, just the that color. part where you added the color. If I want to add a new feature class, give me one moment, please. Okay. If I want to add a new feature class to a geo database, I click new, feature class. Right. I call it whatever yes. test to pick a type, let's say polygon. Go next, choose my coordinate system for the purpose of timing. I don't right now. Okay. We've done this multiple times today. Danilo is an expert now. <laughs> I mean it respectfully. No, no. I, you I, can I, ask questions multiple times. I'm just, I'm not worried about to explain it 50 times. I'm worried about to get through the class session. Sure. I'm next. Worried. X, Y tolerance, too technical for us today, okay. and maybe for the next two weeks, so no. Next, keywords, no, too complicated. Next, new feature class set up like this, yeah. add a field, let's say name, choose text. Text, okay. Change text length maybe, hit finish. So almost the way we did this with the feature, uh, with the shape file, same screens, but a little bit more stuff to it. Yeah. We are actually the more stuff we are not worried about at this point. So the feature you might class. send me emails about it, but not worried about that. So what's the feature uh, class supposed to? How is that different? What is it supposed to do? Uh, if you look at this right now, it's in the can in our cheer database. So the cheer database is managing everything for us right now. <clears throat> yeah? If I move data around, plus or minus, it does that. If I would digitize now something, the Geo database actually creates a field that's called length or area and manages that for us automatically. <coughs> yes, so, so at the building, the cars, the image, the paths are all inside of the digitized, digitized data, uh, Geo database? database? Not yet. Not yet. Take a look at this. Does it look like it? No, it's not. If I look at the content, that's a good question. This is my can. Yeah. These are the three things we did earlier. Mm -hmm. They're different. Okay. When I go to Explorer, and this is why I keep telling you guys, don't do Explorer stuff. In our catalog, my buildings is one shapefile here. In our in Internet, Explorer. sorry, Find Explorer, all this is my buildings. Huh? If I delete one or two of these, boom, all the work is gone. Yeah? Don't, please, do not touch this. <laughs> so, another thing, digitize GDB is a file geodatabase. Yeah? It has a can symbol in our catalog. It has a folder symbol in Windows. Because Windows is recognizing this as a file or folder. And the reason why it's called file based serial database, please do not do this at home. This is all the stuff we just created inside the can. So if I double click the can here, test one and test two are somewhere hidden in these guys. In some of these tables and other files. I cannot stress out the importance, I'm pointing at Jarvis, to make data management the right way. Do not copy and paste data into that. Like if you create a PDF of your map, make sure that you save it and see it here, yeah? next to the other files. Because if it's in the cheer database, no, it'll scare you. I cannot guarantee you that I will find it. I promise you, I actually will look for it if it's not there. Because that was a common mistake in the beginning that someone by accident copies, tracks, and drops it into that .gdb folder. Huh? So when I say I go through the back door and really dissect your transmit uh, submissions, I found students' work, even the map document, the MXD, inside that tier database. And the fun fact, I'll give you the idea. This is the base map we had earlier. If I drag and drop this up here. It's 
now inside. Technically, unless uh, 5.1 updated it, I refresh, it's not here. Yeah. See that? It's not in my can. But the file physically exists on your hard disk in that can folder. So it's not really designed for that? It's not, com not designed for that. There has a human factor in it to screw up the thing or control it. So please, control it. Huh? All right, move this out. Always have to look for it. So this is the simple way how just to create a new feature class. And I would do the same thing. I would drag and drop the feature class now into my map and start digitizing. Huh? I also can import, like, you old vinyl mu music, put it on your iPod. Huh? I can import that with a right click and say import feature class single. And after a few seconds of reading, it should pop up with the import function where I basically say, I select my shapefile, the one I did earlier here, let's say my buildings. Now, here for the output feature, I call the buildings again. And everything else, I click OK. Okay, so. Give me, give, let me finish this for one second. Okay. If everything works fine, I should see buildings, and in the preview, I see my two buildings I digitized. All right? What was your question, please? I will do it again with the other two. All right? To import a shape file into my GL database, I will use the feature to feature class tool, or just import. Import. I right click. I hit import, I say import feature class, single, got this? Yeah. Is that yeah. Then I select the input feature, I can just browse for this like that, find it, let's say I take my cars, hit add. So the cars SHP goes into the digitize.gdb. And now I can say, I call it cars. And click OK. And you can see that our color is coming here too. After a small time of import, it should pop up with cars. It should pop up down here, hopefully with a green check. Yeah? I don't, I don't see mine. I see the folder that I created for the class today. And let me finish this so everyone has the success. If you click on radio and click on cars, you should see a bunch of dots. So we were importing the buildings or the cars? Yeah, you know that? We can, we can only do it one by one, right? We do a single. Uh, so, I see. in theory, you can do batches. You can do multiples at once. To make your life easier, I recommend for the three or four times we have to import feature class, import shape files into the database. Do it as the single. It gives you more control, and it doesn't mess up your projection. Yeah? The coordinate system stuff. What's the value required? Uh, maybe I well, you need to name it. How the feature class is called the buildings list too. I'm going to name it. The blue here. The blue here. Yeah. It's a lot of buildings. Okay. So keep in mind, do the single feature class in board for that. I said the geodatabase is managing your data. 
if I go and look at buildings SHP down here, yeah, the one we digitized. If I look at table, I see feature ID, FID, I see shape, and I see ID number. Yeah? We haven't done anything with that table. So it's purely blank. If I go now to buildings in my cheer database, here, this one, it did add two more fields, shape length and shape area. Yeah? That is the indicator that you're dealing with a feature class in a cheer database. The funny thing is that length of that building or that area of the building. That is in decimal degrees right now because we digitized in a system for decimal degrees. Yeah? So right now, your area is some value of decimal degrees squared. And that is a unit that doesn't exist in this universe yet. Huh? So again, it's important to understand if you're in a football field or in a baseball field. Because they measure differently. Huh? For the assignment, I set you up in a proper way. You don't have to change things. Huh? You don't have to worry about it. I would assume I will ask you, hey, what's the area or what's the length of that feature? If you have a question like that, you will need to go into, let's say, cast doesn't have, it's a point, so it won't have that, yeah? But if you would have like a length, um, an area of um, a building, I would ask you, okay, what's the area? So you need to go back here and say, this is about the size. Huh? As an example, how to deal with your data. All right. Mind blown. It's time for a break, is it? Yeah. <laughs> In about 20 minutes. You know me. But I close everything. Save. Save it first. Well, yeah, was, I have okay, a question for us. Yeah. Do we need to do any save uh, in our catalog? No, no. our catalog, every time you have a successful operation and it, it saves the data for you. Okay. Okay, I want to use the last 20 minutes to expose you to two important platforms for the future. ArcGIS Online, which is different when I say I put a lecture online. Put a lecture online is on Blackboard. Yeah? The videos here online are on YouTube. What I want to do is, we haven't done it in the first session on the Hurricane King. I want to make sure that everyone can log into their ArcGIS Online account. Some of you did that already. Some of you, actually everyone was really behaved and didn't do anything but log in. Yeah? That's fine. I want to expose you for about five to 10 minutes to the RTS online world. Then, as of last night at 1 a.m., we finally got this running because they changed the system. I want to expose you to business analyst online, which is the cool data mining, business oriented, economic development oriented data tool for on top of the GIS world. And that is distinct different from any other GIS class because that is giving you that push, preferable more in retail sectors because it's a huge database in retail. That's where I got the McDonald's data from. Yeah? For those who have been in the market analysis class, there is a question about site the drive time yeah, and market reports. The difference between, let's say, just one or two mile radius buffers versus actually driving this thing along the street and you have this like stretch out. Yeah? We covered lectures on that and I mentioned it earlier before. Yeah? So the power of business analyst is actually you can do site specific report functions. I try to expose you to both systems today. We're doing assignment two, is digitizing and a little bit moving data around. And the additional homeworks is getting a little bit acquainted with the two online tools. But I say again, the two online tools. 
I had a student last year who was baffled at the end of her final presentation when she learned from me, she used to have a small laptop like this. And she said, it was so hard to deal with this. And I said, but you did it online, in RTS online with business analysts. It's an online based system. Oh, go to the library, go to the store, big screen, and you can do that in any web browser. But the digitizing component, for that you need the software here, or on your laptop. So I open up the door to the World Wide Web with you guys now. You can do that anywhere in the world where you have that code number to log in. All right? Want to do it? All right. So last night I had issues with Chrome. Let's see if this Chrome works better. Any questions so far? Final front here. Right, but space. We can do the homework. Or we have something I do it. Depends on the work steps. Yes, please. How, how do we save to our? You said that our catalog saves everything. Well, how do we save it into our uh, jump drive? If you open data in your jump drive, like the geo database, you created that on the jump drive. It's saved on the jump drive. Okay. So we can close our catalog with the yep. problem. What if we save it on the desktop and then I just move it? It's an additional step. If you forget to save on desktop, you move it out, then you have a problem. Don't forget to move it out. All right, All right. let's do this. Let's type in rts.com. You want me to open this up from here? To the Right. Sign in. So this is about the account, not the one you might have used to download your software. This is the account you got an email from me inviting you to Nova Southeastern RAD GIS. Yeah? Yes. That should be your email underscore NSU RED. No, the name of your email, everything before the add sign, name of the email, and then underscore NSU. Got this? Yes, no RED. Yeah, it doesn't, there's no internet. You do RED, and what's the password? No underscore NSU and what? Password is the one you assigned yourself to oh, it because you right. have been invited. All right, let me check this. Yeah, I created my own account, that's why. Yeah, I created my own. Alright, for this class, please use the underscore NSR, underscore NSURID. Yeah, absolutely. Because we're going to use these virtual, the virtual credit cards for you, like a prepaid credit card. Everyone of you gets a prepaid credit card from me now. Alright, so, right, Ellen hasn't, hasn't signed in yet. Antoine hasn't signed in yet. <laughs> Lilo, not signed in. Do you want to send in the password? Mm -hmm. Reset password? Yeah. The link, I, I never, the link never, expired in two minutes. We got an email. Who? Me too. Ellen? Me three. Me four. What is he asking? I don't know what he's asking, but me five. Reset the password. Reset uh, the password too, please. The link expired in two weeks. So. All right, Antoine is not here. The Lilo just did. Diego. on. Can you check here this next one here. Yeah. I have the email, but it, it expired. I'm good, I'm good. Don't, don't uh, reset. Ed. Yeah. Sarah. All right, next one. Grant, are you cool? Um, yeah, can you send it? All right, send it again. Dara. Yes. <coughs> All right. Wait, choose a different computer. All right, who else? Boy, wait, the whole class. Let's go. Oh, I'm good. I go through this list before I do some more. You said, check your email. He sent it way back. Like this one is traveling. All right, I just sent him a new set. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm good. You're good. You can just, uh, good. You just give me more credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have more credit. Yeah. You have 30 credits. It's a specific. Uh, Katarina? Reset? I'm resetting it right now. All right. They're supposed to email me. So? I can reset you automatically. Okay, who is next? Crystal crazy? No, I'm good. I'm not. Ah, uh, don't get it. Excellent. You get it. You should get it. No. No. And last people. Maria is okay. Monica, let's just reset. Underscore slash. Underscore. Oh, give me a second. Yeah. And I get reset too. Yes. And I see you already. You're not supposed to show up at this point. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's okay. All right, everything up. Did I miss it? Who did I miss? That's I all the time. Mine is not um, recognizing your password. password. Just try it again. It happens to me. Okay. Where's my yellow? Yes, I can see it. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I'm fine. Ah, oh, 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 oh. If I do that, you can actually do the whole administration. Okay, who <laughs> else? There are the two. You just, yeah. Ah, yeah. there you go. What's the old password? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I just went to your to the mail that you sent now, and I copied the. Can you, can you copy the password? Don't know. Okay. You should click on the link and reset your password. All right. It's asking for the old password. Everyone had a password reset and or is able to log in. Old password is your password kept to everyone. Who is not logged in yet? Please do. I'm going to restart the computer so hopefully That's the one that was just sent. Oh, just pop on the machine. That one is broken. Copy and paste uh, this is the only one that's not so. What is the username? I don't know. It's yours. That's your uh, email handle. Plus Email name NSU underscore NSU red for Nova Southeast University. Okay, but the, the, the new password is not. Uh, the password Did is you not, get an email? It's not working the new password. example of don't kill your eyes when you mean a small laptop. This is browser-based, internet-based work. So use the screen, happy computer from the phone. Yeah? Ah, when is the online? Yeah, for the online component, do that. Yeah? Makes your life way easier. Like, I don't do my online stuff on this one. I have a 25 inch oh. like this size. Yeah? It's not letting me in. I'm sorry. Not letting you in? All right, what last attempt, and I have to push time. Danilo, reset your password. Please check your email.
But go back to the screen. Reload the whole screen. <coughs> Try not. This is Let's log in. If you haven't done that, let's log in. And it's true. So I have a little bit different name here. Um, I have multiple accounts. And since last night, your new fellow student for demonstration is Carl. Carl Gustav. Also, oh. <laughs> Get ideally this, and Carl played last night a little bit with stuff, so there might be one or two. But I usually use German poets or composers, so if you see the user called Beethoven or Schiller, um, that's just me, yeah? um, to keep different categories separate and for better demonstration. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because if I use my administrator tool of the account, I have all these tools. And we're using just these tools to learn. You know? So this makes life a little bit easier. All right. This looks slightly the same way that we have seen ArcGIS before. If you look gallery, map, scene, um, we might see the <coughs> original setup. But then it's actually a different um, piece now. It's actually part of the institution and organization we have done. So this is data that we played around with, that's data that's in the works. Um, there's also data here and there where the data management on the online component is not successful enough, aka you shouldn't see that as a student. Remember when we talked about his project with all the liquor store licensing, uh, liquor store places in Florida, that's actually the source file. So quick and dirty. Late night, messes up your data management. So this is on me, no, but it's OK. Um, but it gives you also the opportunity to actually take a look at other stuff, um, like maps and layers, based in the organization. No, I need to get rid of this. This is pretty much research here, you know, fun stuff. No, but you mm -hmm. can share within the organization your data. And I say that it is being very careful and very enthusiastic. Yes, you can share your success with your fellow students. 
don't share it for here's my work, take a look at it, and copy and paste it and submit it. No? So be careful with that. However, what we also have is organization here on the top. So you can see all the users that are in here. And you could, let's say, even message them or see what they're doing. No? The important part is content. Because now in content you see what Carl did last night. No? Mm -hmm. Or in your case, you see nothing. I also can go to maps. And this is something we have seen before when we accidentally clicked on the wrong button. No? <coughs> and you can zoom in like in Google Maps, zoom in with the mouse wheel, etc. No? Find places. I also can, let's say, we're doing this next week, step by step, we're going through all these. I also can search for something, let's say Fort Lauderdale. No? Fort Lauderdale. And it pops up, let's say, comma FL. So it should actually give us the C. No? like we would Google the address. I also can use a tool that's called Map Notes. And then have that here in the side and edit this. Wait, if I edit. I could add the push pin anywhere where I want and place new things in it. I'm going to do a mini video for that because the time is running. Yeah. This is the most simplistic way to add a location in your online world. So instead of this complicated digitizing thing, I can call this just my fun edit and hit close. Then I go back here with add features. And I just have to say save as a layer. Again, still tricky. You went to features? What did you, what, what did you do? Oh. Sorry. Sorry. What Somewhere you clicked here the, button, the push button. And I clicked on this little tiny back here, mm -hmm. get to map notes, no. and say save layer. Oh, oh, oh. What happened that doesn't come up? Yeah. And if I do save layer, it asks me again, this obnoxious pop-up. I need to actually put in a tag. I usually call it test. Oh. Oh. Same layer. Yep, same layer. Map, map notes fun. Just call it fun. Map notes fun. And then tags call it um, test. Yeah. And since we are in an organization, I want you to Add your initials. Yeah, I want you to add your initials behind it. So if you do the save layer, here click on the dots, the dots, save layer. If you call that map notes fun, I want you to use your initials behind it. Because if we want to be a happy organization, a team. We just create 21 or 22 versions of fun maps. Doesn't work. Only allows us one single name right now. Tag, gotta add test or something, otherwise it bugs you about it. And create the item. So it says creating item in my content. If I go back to home, click back on home, and go to content, you should now see something that's called Map Notes Fun, your initials. I will do that again very slowly with more in depth via video. I try to record that tomorrow. So, so, right. Show me how to save the layer again. If I'm in my map. Yeah. 
You want those three dots, Andrew? The three yeah. dots. Um, in the content here, yeah. web nodes right now has the three dots, which gives you more options. And I could do save layers if it have changes in it. Alright, so I have like five minutes to make you mind blow aha happy. Alright? That's it. That save thing doesn't pop up, right? That means you haven't done anything. Yeah. Like Alright, let's go back to home. And one thing you need to write down, or two things, is rts.com and then BAO for business analyst online dot sre dot com. I can share that with you again. Because if you're here, you can't find this apps button and you can actually find the RGS business analyst. You can click on this or you type it in BAO dot com. It will pop up this tool. The new thing is you don't have to log in the second time. Yeah, business analyst online. Huh? When it pops up like this, this is the business, the tip of the iceberg of business data. Huh? When you are there, you can create here, see recently created stuff, or you go, let's say, to maps. And we create a project. Okay? Maps create a project. And we call that test fun. Because I'm not going to do any substantial with it. We'll take a moment. So that's fun. I give you guys a mini video on this. This is not going to be part of the assignment. Not the assignment. Yeah. 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 Let's finish this. Yeah. If I have the test fun, I click open. Looks like we have seen this before. Huh? Now, I'm going to type in as address or location, I type in Nova Southeastern University. Nova Southeastern, Southeastern University. And here we have the College Avenue address. And it jumps straight up. No, we do a main campus. Got it, got it. Huh? Thank you. All, right. All the stuff on the left side, I don't care right now. Not really much. What I want to show you as the cool part is how we deal with rings, drive time, and walk time. I click on this. Switch to drive time. Keep the 5, 10, and 15 minutes. Yeah? And hit apply. What is the 5, 10? Click on the drive time. Yeah? So, not any more circles around it. This is what I'm wondering about. <laughs> you never touched the system before, and it took you 3 minutes to create a drive time analysis of 5, 10, and 15 minutes from campus. Everyone who passed my real estate marketing analysis was like, damn you, professor, I should have known that before. Huh? <laughs> Everyone who's in the class right now says, yeah, my final project just got better points. Huh? <laughs> All right. The cool part here is this online version is it has the reports and the infographics. Let's do infographics as an example. Just click save. To the, for the default. It now shows you key demographics, retail numbers, purchasing information in a simplified version. Most current 2015 data, 2016 data. Look at that. 
Those are the key facts mm -hmm. in those specific mm -hmm. lifetime mm -hmm. areas. Can I do that again? Sir? Huh? I can't. I have to. I'm running out of time. You're I'll give you a video. Video. demo on the video. Okay, perfect. Everyone has a little bit credits loaded on their account right now. I want you to play with this. Yeah? I want you to go inside and say, okay, fine, what <coughs> if I add a new infographics or what I can use that function for? Yeah? I literally want you to explore. Hit a button and have the world explode on it. Oh. Yeah. If you go to the point where you deal with data enhancement, don't do the whole, U uh, the whole US. Do local things like the city of Davie or downtown Fort Lauderdale. Why? Because if you select data that has 10,000 variables in it, you will be charged for that processing of the data of 10,000 variables. And that could blow up your account immediately. You cannot exceed your account. <laughs> how, many do, how many credits do you have? 30. 30, 30 for playing. So Student in this yeah. class usually gets between four and six hundred. How do we know how many we use? Well, actually, you, yeah. it should pop up and tell you how much it will charge you for that when you use it. So we just use some of them for this. Probably, but points, comma period points. If you run out, I get an email, you get an email, I give you more. I just don't want to give you five hundred and you're done for the whole semester with it. No? And I'm a little bit uh, try to save those points because I rather have your account valid for another semester right. and give you points for other classes. Yeah? So don't if you don't blow it out for the first this week, don't spare it. I reload you two or three times. I want you to understand how to deal with that software. Get desktop version. You guys need to understand the navigation tools, how to move the map, how to add data. Yeah, or to copy and paste from one location to the other location. You gotta practice this. Yeah? Please. Because you're falling behind in your way to follow uh, material. Yeah? The assignment that is due on Friday will deal with digitizing. If there is a step needed that I did not expose you to today in class, I will give you step by step tiny to the point uh, uh, ideas. Huh? Like Lily, I explained it. This was not done in class yet. To fulfill this, you need to do this and this and this. I might even give you a video lecture for it. I don't foresee that. I want you, fun, fun fact from uh, assignment number two is foster your knowledge and show the knowledge in digitizing. Yeah? I want you to invite to play with this. This is powerful. And this is quick, accessible data. Huh? All right. See you in about 28 minutes for the next class. How much is, um, how much is uh, uh, an account with RTIS? I have no idea. Now, when it says drive time, does that include traffic or just? You can, you can model lift traffic or not. I have a quick question. Yeah. Um, I was trying to follow the uh, some of the uh, exercises on the uh, on, on the book, chapter one, chapter two. Yep. And then I got to a point where 